What up, sexy, sexy Aries gang? If I had like bow chicka bow wow music, I would play it for you right now because we're going to do your love and romance spreads. I'm just being silly. I don't like all that nonsense I just said. You can ignore that. Anyway, what's up, guys? Welcome to my channel, The Intuitive Teacup. Happy to have all the Aries gang out there with me today. Um, here on YouTube, you guys know my drill. I do general messages. Uh, that means not everything I say will resonate with you. Can just about guarantee it. Pieces and parts of this reading very likely will. I hope lots and lots of it does. But know that you will always be in the driver's seat of your own life. Uh, welcome you to come into this uh, reading with an open heart and an open mind. Ultimately, you get to determine which messages you're going to take and, and run with, essentially. Um, anything that feels strange or foreign, drop it like it's hot. But also give these messages time to resonate um, because sometimes it will take a few days, a few hours, even a few weeks for something to really kind of like settle in and, and then you'll realize it was your message, right? And again, not everything will be. So yeah, use discernment, use discretion. Um, I hope this video finds you well. I hope you guys had a marvelous, marvelous birthday season. Despite the circumstance, I think we're all making the best of it. I know fire signs in particular do, do struggle with kind of being indoors all day, every day. So God bless you guys. I know you're hanging tough out there. Uh, looks like you got some positive messages and love already. So let me do a few more shuffles and we'll hop in. Everything else about this video that you might be wondering is written down in the uh, dialogue box for you, including the decks I'm using as well as my social media channels. I am The Intuitive Teacup on Facebook and Instagram, uh, as well as .com. Like, share, subscribe wherever you can. Uh, so guys, I started this channel almost a year ago today, and I am trying to get to 2,000 subscribers. I'm really close. I'm like 200 people away. So yeah, if you can subscribe and you haven't already, and you know, if you like this channel, right, I would appreciate it. Whatever love you guys want to show me, that would be absolutely incredible. Uh, so I appreciate you. Let's hop into your reading. All right, so someone's looking for a commitment and love. It could be a love offer that is relatively new with the Page of Cups. Um, someone, it's almost like immediately is wanting to rush into marriage or some kind of commitment, but the other person has wandering eyes, and I think it's you. The fire sign in this scenario, they're still curious, they're still inquisitive, but they're not necessarily looking at this person who, yeah, you, you're dealing with a person who wants marriage or at least some type of rock solid firm guarantee. Like they wanna guarantee in love with you and they may have vocalized that to you, but I'm Aries, I'm getting this all over the place. You're very like, oh, well that's nice. Like I'm flattered, but no, <laughs> you know, like you're, and I'm not saying you don't like this person. I'm not saying you don't enjoy their company. I think you're flirtatious, right? But there may have been some mixed signals because you have other options, Aries. You have three pages. You have the Page of Cups, you have the Page of Earth, and you have the Page of Fire. So I'm getting that that's sort of representing you and like this, um, something about kind of childish, inquisitive, not wanting to settle down. You might, like there might be a sense of you where you go, I'm too young to settle down. Like, psh, please, like it, it's not time. And again, that's not everybody's story, but What's interesting is underneath, uh, potentially an earth sign is making an offer to you that again, they want longevity, they want, it's almost like you guys have met and they instantly are like, oh, I'm gonna marry you, you're my person. I feel like I do get that message for you a lot. Yeah, it, it feels like you're dealing with multiple parties here, but Aries, you are not settled on one. You might you might kind of be playing the field, seeing, uh, yeah, you you might kind of be seeing what, what options are out there and maybe you just got out of a breakup, maybe you just got out of a, a messy divorce or a situation that was quite quite laborious and exhausting so it's like yeah um, I'm gonna be the king of wands for a while right you're not necessarily seeking the the mate or the match or the partner immediately yeah you're you have options you're at a crossroads so all right that's sort of the, the vibe going on so all the cross watchers have immediately clicked off no I'm just kidding all right let's let's hop into your person because your person's energy is really beautiful you I can it's a little bit clustered uh, your person's overall energy wheel of fortune there it's almost like you've expanded their world it's like they feel like divine timing the the universe God it's like they delivered you to their doorstep and yeah it's like they they see a a, a life of expansion and, and good fortune with you and I mean that's evident because I mean, these cards, it's like, yeah, it's, it's almost like they just, it was like they, they met you and they knew you instantly, or they knew it instantly that they were meant to be with you. So again, I mean, everybody has, has free will. I absolutely believe that. But 
it's almost like they heard a spiritual calling that Aries was their person. And so they're already looking to you like, yeah, you're the one. Like there, there's not a lot of wiggle room here in their mind. So be careful that could, you know, on a lower vibration, that could be a little bit like stalker energy. And I'm not really getting that from your person. It feels generally pretty positive, but yeah, especially if you're dealing with a Taurus, I, I'm almost, this is actually like a really weird metaphor, but, and there's no judgment here, but I'm almost getting the idea of wanting to claim you as like their, their territory and like it, it's, uh, how do I say this? It's not, um, it's a little bit like male aggressive machismo type, like this is, this is my man, this is my woman and it doesn't really matter the gender, but do you know how when animals to claim their territory, they pee on something? The bull, particularly if you're dealing with a Taurus, there's, and you might be an Aries Taurus cusper, there's something about wanting to claim you as theirs. So even if it's not aggressive, even if they're not advocating or uh, telling you that, communicating that with you, that's going on in the back of their mind. So yeah, I just want to give my Aries a, a fair heads up. This person is in it with you. So if for any reason you absolutely know, like, nope, you're not my person, I would communicate that sooner than later or else I am getting, it's just going to get messier if you don't nip this in the bud. If you truly aren't interested, if you're still figuring it out, if you're still flirting and, and seeing what's up, then cool, right? You know, you can take your time, but I would still say even so advocate that, communicate that to your person because it's almost like they're willing to give it all to you, but you're splitting your time between at least two different people. And maybe this indicates you just, you're busy with your, your work, your job. That's maybe your main focus. So, you know, relationships might be on the back burner for you. Or again, it could indicate multiple partnerships, multiple romantic interests, or, you know, maybe you have a child, maybe you have an elderly parent, or you know what I mean? Like not all your time is devoted to, to the honey bunny or whatever this is. So then in your person's mental sector, that's what I mean. They're like, lock it down, hold it tight because it's going to be yours. It, it is a little bit suffocating. Um, and yeah, you Aries, you need to breathe. You, fire signs, you need that oxygen to, to thrive and to grow and to feel. Freedom is important to my Aries, right? This person is, um, cross watchers don't hate me. This person is a little bit smothering. They want to be with you all the time. Again, I'm being called to say Taurus or maybe even a Cancer. Again, beautiful, lovely zodiac signs. Don't have a thing against them. But yeah, there's something about just like, your mind, don't go anywhere. It's uh, clingy. Clingy is a perfect term for it. Uh, in their heart space, they have the sun. So again, they, they kind of see you as like the mother or the father of their child. Um, yeah, it's almost like they're hearing music in their heart when they're with you. It's just like, look how happy this card is, right? That's how they feel when you're when they're around you, Aries. You know, that, that sun, it's that fire energy that's representing you. It's like, it's almost like they go into like a dream sequence in their head when they think about you. Almost like, like a trippy, hippy-dippy dream sequence you would see in like, I don't know, like some like 70s movie, right? It's like all sunshine and flowers and rainbows and just like, it, it almost feels like a drug trip when they're with you. Interesting. I do not know that from personal experience. Moving on. I'm sorry guys, my camera froze. So in their action sector, where are they moving towards? They're moving towards you. They might even be wanting to move in with you. I, I feel like my Aries are, I just kind of sense they're like, oh, I don't know about this because it's, all, yeah, it's, they're, they really, really like you. They really like you. Yeah, they're, they're moving towards an Aries and that's you guys if you're watching this, right? Um, you may also have, this person might be another Aries or a Leo for that matter, maybe a Sag, yeah, because you have Jupiter energy, expansion, Sagittarius is very much associated with that card. You have Leo and then you have Aries. So a lot of fire, a lot of warm, cozy fires. So your overall energy is, oh boy, this is a bit of a burden. This is a lot to carry around. This could be someone who has expressed interest in you and you've decided to just be friends or maybe like maybe you've never dated, but you, you tried to like, uh, put them down, or sorry, not put them down, like um, talk them down in like a nice way where you're still being um, jovial. That's not what I meant to say, but you're still being kind. You're still expressing gestures of friendship, but it's almost like you have to draw the line more firmly because they're seeing those, what you view as very innocent, you know, friendly gestures. They're taking as, oh, Aries likes me. Like they're kind of building it up in their head to be something that it's not. Cause look, you're giving to multiple people. Like they think they're special. They think they're the one, they think they have all your attention, but they kind of don't. And I think you already sense that. And so there is a little bit like, oh, this is awkward. Like literally awkward, right? He can't hold all those sticks. <laughs> all those sticks that look like dicks, right? There's, there's a lot going on there, Aries. 
Yeah, so there's something about this relationship that it's more burdensome than enjoyable right now. And maybe that has to do, like, if you're in a marriage, right, and maybe you have other people flirting with you, it could indicate one or the other that, that like, the, the third party is essentially the one that you're trying to, like, put down. Or the opposite, if you're in a marriage and the marriage is exhausting, you could be looking elsewhere for that excitement or whatever, you know what I mean? And I personally don't necessarily advocate third party shit, but you know, you do you, Aries. Um, so then in your heart space, again, emotionally, which cup, uh, you know, which option fills your cup, which is emotionally more satisfying or more exciting? You're certainly looking over all your options, aren't you? There's a lot more than two options here. There's many, many, many options. Some of them are a little bit more scary. Some of them are a little bit more intriguing, exciting. Some of them you've immediately like crossed off like, nope, I don't want that one. But yeah, you're taking stock of the people in your life and, and which one really matches what it is that you desire in love, at least in the moment, right? I am being called to say you're most excited about a water sign, specifically a Pisces or a Cancer, some of you, or maybe um, a Leo has caught your attention as well. Um, so then in your heart space, you have the page of swords. This is your mental sector. Sorry, I don't know if I mixed the two up. Anyway, uh, same, same applies though, it's, it's all the same. Uh, so then in your heart space, you have page of swords. So yeah, you're interested, you're intrigued, you're trying to gather all the details and data and information, and you have all four pages, do you not? Yeah, you do, all the pages. So are there many children in your life? Another sign had all the pages too. I don't remember who it was. Anyway, neither here nor there. Uh, this can indicate lots of students, lots of children, lots of sexual activity, like this person sleeping with that person and, and all that kind of thing, or just a lot of like newish options on the dating scene. It's probably people you've connected with either on like some sort of social media platform or a dating app, or you may be exchanging messages back and forth, but it seems like you have a lot of options, but they're all very different. There's something different and intriguing about them in, in different ways ways than the next. So it's almost like with this coming up in your heart space, you're still trying to determine what it is that you want or it's, it's really like which one of these cups am I going to go after first or which of these cups am I going to go after more like seriously? It could be something like that, but lots of pages, lots of elements. This I'm also being called to say something about like a witch's coven, like each each is represented earth, air, fire, water. So you obviously being the fire sign that you may have strong air in your chart. There's something about a nice little group of four here. Maybe it's your book club. Maybe it's your sewing club. Maybe it's your musical band or group or something about a team of four. You guys might all be on like a Skype call or like a Zoom call together or whatever they're doing. It could be your coworkers, but it's almost like each one of these pers people possess a certain uh, like magic or skill that when you guys come together, it's like, it takes off. This is such a dumb metaphor and I am so sorry. I recognize the cheese factor. But it's, uh, I just recently saw the movie Trolls, right? Or the second one, right? It has something to do with like, they have to assemble like a, a guitar that has different chords and each chord represents like a different type of music genre. And it's like when they come together, it's the rock of ages. And it's something kind of cheesy like that. That's a metaphor for something here. It could also just be indicative of you have four kids or four siblings or something, but they're all magic. They all have good and bad qualities, but yeah, you seem to be on the fence of, of who you want to pick. So your overall action is competition. Uh, a lot of people fighting or vying for your attention, but I also think it goes both ways. I think you have your eye on someone too, but you don't necessarily feel like you are their only option. And so you're sort of fighting to be seen. I'm almost getting you like pushing people out of the way. It's like, no, me, look at me. I want to be your option. It's that kind of thing. It's very, very Aries energy. The head of the Zodiac, you know, like, please. I started this bitch, <laughs> right? Like, I will be seen, it will be mine. It's very, yeah, it's very confident. Yeah, you might be attracted to another Aries and you're trying to get their attention. Yeah, the Mars Tower moment and then Five of Pentacles. Yeah, so you might be feeling isolated or abandoned by someone that you have feelings for, but I don't think it's the same person looking at you. I have to be honest, this to me is like a wake up call to make you, universe is trying to make you realize something very positive about this person who, yes, they are a little bit clingy. And again, this person isn't a saint. They're not perfect. They probably have a little bit of codependency issues. But there is something about this, the universe is trying to get your attention that they do have good intentions. And again, when they're with you, it's like that your energy to them is just so beautiful and healing and, and spiritual. There's something very spiritual about you. 
So I guess something about the spread, I mean, because they're coming up, your, your attention is being called to them. Why is it that they're so attracted to you? What is it that, that makes them see you as their potentially like forever person? Is it worth giving a second shot to this person? Um, because it does seem like, again, I'm being called to say Taurus in some area of this. Aries and Taurus, is your person like a cusper or something like that? Someone in the spread feels abandoned and lonely and they're longing for a person who isn't necessarily longing back for them. And it's a domino effect because this person is doing it to you, but you're longing or pining for someone else who, and I think it might be another fire sign, an Aries, Leo, or Sag, who they're not seeing you in the moment. It's almost like if everybody could just turn around and see the person who actually has affection for them, something could start getting off the ground here. But yeah, you have the Ten of Wands and the Ten of Swords. So you yourself, Aries, are, are kind of going through it here. This could indicate a divorce for me, something that you, you've been carrying it around for years and it's, it's finally catching up with you where you're just done. You just want to drop it because there's something about the situation you understand it's a lose-lose battle. Uh, with the Ten of Swords and the Ten of Wands, you're closing out a very significant major cycle, but both these cards indicate something is ending that it wasn't pleasant. It was something that it, it's like a cut your losses moment. It's, it's more about understanding that if you walk away from this, you're walking away with like valuable insight and lessons of how you're going to do it better the next time. And I'm not saying anything was in, in your, your fault, but essentially like the higher vibration spiritual message of this is there was something about you that needed to be humbled so that you could learn why something didn't work so that you can kick, out, kick ass the next time around. So if potentially your person is clinging to you, that could be a, a spouse that doesn't want a divorce, right? It could also be, again, like a new, a new temptation, right? That's making romantic offers to you even though you might be married or spoken for. That's sort of what I'm getting here. And that is what I got in the Libra reading as well. So that might make sense to some of you. Yeah, <laughs> a Libra might be communicating with you, but again, that Libra might be married, so. Yeah, some of you are choosing to walk away from a cup, a, a heart, a person that is no longer satisfying to you. You might either be walking away from a Scorpio or walking towards one because you realize there was a falseness to that person. They were wearing a false mask. There was some deception. There were secrets that, that eventually you became illuminated to, but it was almost like too little too late. So yeah, you're go a lot of you are choosing to walk away from a marriage or to find someone else who you view as marriage material. You're not, yeah, you're, I don't know. Something about leaving the home, you might be moving out of a, a home or an apartment from a spouse or from a significant other. Yeah, you're, you're cutting your own path. You're going your own way. Um, some of you are interested in moving in with a Sagittarius. And then in your heart space, Page of Swords, Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, you, some of you are interested in someone that you work with uh, because you feel like on your hardest days, they're the one who really nurtures and helps you. Uh, you may have even stayed, like you're, they may have put you up once or twice. Like if your spouse is like, that's it, you're sleeping on the couch. You may have actually gone to your friend's place to like spend the night and they, they put you up, they put a roof over your head. They, they provided you some sort of warmth or shelter. And it's almost like you specifically called them to help you because you actually kind of had a crush on them. Could be an earth sign, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. All right, and then in terms of your action, you're fighting for the attention of the one that you like. And if that is an earth sign, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, I think you're gonna get your wish. Uh, if, it, yeah, there's something about not wanting, you're wanting to like stomp the competition or, or whatever, like you're fighting to be seen. It's almost like the, the presentation to an earth sign, particularly a Capricorn or a Taurus here, I, I think you're going to get your wish in terms of like your cups will mat, match and meet. Again, a, a, did I mention that earlier? Maybe a same-sex couple, though it doesn't have to be. Or it could indicate, again, as we were saying, particularly a Taurus that is interested in you. They're going to fight to to be seen. If, if Yeah, there could be like a role reversal here. Because again, it's like the, the stories coming up here are very mirrored, but it's not applying to the same person. As I said, it's like a domino effect of everybody's looking at the next person but no one's looking at each other. This could also indicate that you have a Taurus who dreams of joining cups with you, who dreams of capturing your heart, but it's a, like, it's a fight to the end. It's a struggle to get your attention. Um, so let's clarify that, please. What action will Aries be taking towards, I'm gonna say towards the old and the new. 
Yeah. Uh, yes, this person who's clingy and who, you know, they dream about you and it's like a fucking drug trip when they're with you, that you're, you five of swords. There's, there's some baggage with that person where it, it's too much. It's too intense for you right now. There's something about it. It's not easy. It's, it's, yeah, there's nothing calming about their energy. It actually makes you nervous and want to detach. Um, so yeah, 10 of cups. If there's a new person in your life, that's who you're going after. And it might be an, a different or a, uh, yeah, or an earth sign, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. That you, like, that's what I mean. This person looks at you as the 10 of pentacles. You're looking at someone else as the 10 of emotions, the 10 of cups. So this is kind of all over the place, but I mean, it, I mean, the, the story is consistent. The person who's really making their feelings known, I don't think you're into it, Aries. Yeah, the, the person from the past, they may even have a child with you or... Or they may have even have brought up the discussion of having children, which, again, seems very soon. It's like they just met you and they're like, so how many kids do you want to have? And you're just like, whoa, what? Yeah, the, the person from the past, there's heartbreak there. So God bless you, my cross watchers. If that applies to you, it, it doesn't look too good with your Aries right now. They're, they're keeping you waiting because they, it's not that they don't know what they want. They're trying to put you down gently and kind of let you know, like, like, sorry, babe, it's, it's not going to happen this, this time. Like, I'm, I'm not your person, but I love you and I appreciate you. But like, I, like I'm, I'm putting this one down. Like, I fold. I fold my cards, my hand of cards. <clears throat> Romance Angels cards for my Aries gang out there. Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. This might apply to your cross watcher. It could also apply to you still holding on from someone to your past. Again, it isn't this clingy person, although it might be. But it's still weighing on you tremendously to the point where it's, yeah, it's, it feels annoying. It feels like it's just time to release it. <clears throat> Finances and career, financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. And make the effort. Great love is worth taking steps you are guided to take. Yeah, you are crushing on someone else with this Two of Cups energy. But it's almost like you're, I don't know, it's not so much you're afraid to tell this person. But maybe you're playing hard to get. Maybe it's something about, or it's something about you don't want to compete for their attention. So you're doing this kind of like playing hard to get. Like, well, I'm not going to. But you do like them, so it, to me it's almost like make it known. Speak your truth. You got nothing to lose. Like if you ever want this person to like make the rounds to you and give you a chance, Aries, you got to make your intentions or your feelings known. This person is not as psychic as you think they are in terms of knowing that you like them. What you may consider like heavy flirting, they might not have picked up on the message there, particularly if you work with them. So yeah, I, I think it's like make your intentions known. Be truthful with, with where you stand with, with all the people involved here. Zodiac signs that wanted to come out. Sagittarius, Taurus, Aquarius, Gemini, and Scorpio. All right, guys, that's what I got for you. Please like, share, subscribe. Please, please, please. Let me know in the comments down below what resonates. I will see you guys very soon for more tarot. Bye, Aries, and happy birthday.